Salut, ça va bien? No? Well, too fucking bad. Player 2 is gonna explain Widowmaker for you on the cancel versions of the game, which means I'm using a controller with control freaks and shit. So let's get our freak on. One shot, one kill. A la vie, à la mort. Basically, a philosophy you want to live by when you're playing the big booty sniper Widowmaker. Now, I need to get through this really quickly. We're going to rapid fire basically all of my points so that I can get to the saucy ass gameplay that I've got for you saved up on my share factory. Without further ado, Infrasight. Infrasight's pretty dope. You kind of use it for yourself, so uh, use it frequently as soon as you get it usually, but only use it within when you're within sniping distance, so don't just use it out of spawn. So say, I know enemies could be around the corner, I pop this shit on, all my team has advisor, yada yada yada, you're getting recon assist and shit. You use it to line up headshots from people popping out of cover or just popping out of cover. It's basically the rule of thumb for Infrasight. Moving on with Grappling Hook. Launch a hook that pulls you towards a ledge. Pretty fucking awesome, right? Well, you're going to use this to get up to vantage points, obviously, but you're also going to use it to evade enemies. Um, I think one popular misconception in the community right now is that Widowmaker is uh, exclusively a defensive hero. This is bullshit. In fact, her counters suggest almost the opposite, because the characters that you counter the most as Widowmaker are going to be Torbjorn and Bastion, who are defensive heroes. By proxy, that does not really make you a defensive sniper. So, fighting within the pack is actually a smart idea because you have meat shields, and the characters that can normally counter you, like for example Tracer, are going to have a hard time killing you when you're in a pack of fucking people who will annihilate the shit out of her. This is a pretty awesome thing, and if you still get ganked within that friendly space, you still have the option to use your grapple because you wouldn't have used your grapple prior because you were, you know, with your teammates. Now, um... With that being said, no, Widowmaker is not an exclusively defensive hero. Moving on to how, like, what's the what's the general way you should be playing this character? Uh, just fucking uh, offensively def or defensively works. I mean, basically, you want to master the technique called drag scoping. And what is drag scoping? It's basically just aiming down your sights and letting that bitch charge up, and then getting a headshot and being able to do that like on the fly to a moving target if you learn how to do this you'll become a like you'll move from like a extremely shit Widowmaker to a highly effective assault Widowmaker if you're able to land these shots you're gonna be able to not only like kill a bunch of people which you won't be doing for the most part as Widowmaker you'll actually just be like removing enemies health bars because you're not gonna be getting crits all the time because people move crazy fast as fuck and have ridiculously small heads unlike these training bots so, just practice drag scoping in the range. Close range, medium range, long range, you can't really go wrong. Also, one little practice tip I found fun here is getting on this moving platform and sniping from there. Um, that seems to, I don't know why it helps, it just kind of fucking does. It gives you like an additional challenge so that you can like work under any circumstance and maybe even practice your um, smooth as silk. Chibi uh, a acquisitions. Like I just did right there, bitch. But, yeah. Basically, biggest tip I can give you for Widowmaker is practice the fuck out of all distance sniping on these moving targets, preferably. You know, go up, like, fucking here, practice the same shit. St shooting down is actually the hardest thing to do as Widowmaker. So, practice that shit, you know. Shit. Fucking die, piece of shit. So yeah, just practice, practice, practice. I'll fully admit, I practiced for four hours before my Widowmaker was even considered viable. Uh, moving on to some other ideas with Widowmaker. Basically, your counters in the game are any character that can break um, medium to close distance with you. If they get in that medium to close distance, they can kind of fuck you up because you are very easy to shoot. Even though you have a big ass which can pacify some enemies who are of a less mature level depending on your skin. So, with all these ideas in mind... Who are your primary counters? Basically, Tracer can kill the fuck out of you because she can close that distance faster than literally anyone else. And so is Winston because Winston can jump right at you and drop a shield and just continue to do damage to you while you can basically do shit. Usually, you're not going to get enough 100% charge shots to down Winston if your team is not helping you. To avoid, like I said, to avoid Winston and Tracer, just fight within your team. And to avoid any other counter... 
Um, you can set defensive traps, and when they trigger, you can then leave and join the team. Or you can set up a shot, kind of lining up where they came from. So, like, that guy's coming up the hallway. Boom. Boom, motherfucker. Oh, I didn't even kill him. Well, you get the idea. Uh, so, yeah, practice, practice, practice. This is the biggest thing in the fucking world. Um, when it comes to actually using the assault rifle version, just go for headshots. And don't rely on the assault rifle to completely kill someone unless they're borderline fucking retarded. And when they get down to one bar, just whip them. If, if you're in a situation where you're just like, la, 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 and th yeah, yeah, that's how you do it. That's the verbal um, implications. Now, guys, I'm going to move into the gameplay, and I'm going to get into some uh, general opinions, verdict on the character based on a 1 to 5 scale. Let's move on. All right, guys, we are in the gameplay, and right off the bat, I'm going to be, like, killing some Torbjorn action. Now, this is why I say that Widowmaker is not just a defensive hero, but an offensive one as well, because she can shut down a lot of defensive hero shit. Namely, you can do pop shots on Bastion. Basically, what this is is you hide behind cover, aim down sight, let it charge fully to 100, line up your shot, step out, do a 100% shot, go back in, rinse and repeat. So, turret characters are fucked up by Widowmaker, and that is by far her most useful application in the game, to an extent where I think even a low-level player can, you know, do this function and perform it well. Now, <clears throat> how do I ultimately feel about Widowmaker when it comes to, like, the mass audience of people, or the mass majority of people? And what I will say is, on the star verdict, I kind of have to give her a 1, and the reason is because not only is she the hardest fucking, like, character, like, arguably in the game to pick up for console players, because thumbsticks are just so much harder to use than mouse and keyboard, I guess. She also has less utility and less viability and less rounds per minute than another sniper in the game, and the only other one is, like, let's be honest, is Hanzo. So Hanzo... The reason that Hanzo kind of like detracts from Widowmaker's overall usefulness is because he has a climb that is not never needs cooldown. So he's going to have that ability right off the bat that kind of replaces her grapple indefinitely. Additionally, Hanzo has a faster rate of fire and never has to aim down sights. So you no longer have to take as much time between shots and you can do more of them in rapid succession. The only skill gap that Hanzo has that Widowmaker doesn't is his arc. And hold on, let me let me I'm not even done with the fucking utilities yet, man. Hanzo has the ability to shoot a recon arrow that that highlights targets, which is Widowmaker's ult, just in a more concentrated nutshell. It's like what the fuck were they thinking when they gave Hanzo this much fucking utility? By the way, get wrecked Hanzo, you fucking piece of shit spam asshole fucking nonsense. And furthermore, and finally, his ultimate is actually a damage dealer. So, like, there's just so many reasons to not play Widowmaker over Hanzo, especially if you're a lower skill gap player, that you could almost not recommend Widowmaker at all. But with that being said, Widowmaker, in my opinion, is much better at dealing with Bastion, much better at dealing with Torbjorn, and if utilized correctly, can help strip down tanks. But then again, so can fucking Hanzo. God damn it. I, I just... I just I, Blizzard, I hate Hanzo on the console version. Hanzo is so fucking spammy. Every time he hits me in the goddamn face, I just want to fucking rage and fucking shit my pants and anger and fuck. So unfortunately, <laughs> Widowmaker, baby, the most I can give you, like, say a high skill player is playing Widowmaker. I'd say up to a three, actually, because he can shut down, or a good Widowmaker can shut down squishies, can counter her counters like this. Watch this shit. You ain't fuck death comes from fucking nowhere, bitch. Get fucking dunked on. Yeah, it's great. Level 69, by the way. Shout out. Shout out to level 69. But Widowmaker can be extremely useful if you use her properly. And I don't. And I definitely. And I, I want to leave this by saying, you guys learn to play Widowmaker. And you may be saying, what? Why should I do that? You just said that she's very, very difficult, and why Why would I learn this character? Because if you learn Widowmaker, you're going to become a much better shot with every character in the game. You're going to understand predicting where someone's going to be slightly ahead of their frames. You're going to be able to um, just, in general, be able to shoot without as much aim assist as Call of Duty, for example. 
And that is lovely. It's basically to help you get acquainted with the game more. I think that if more people practiced with Widowmaker, they'd be able to perform functions better with other characters. Anyways, guys, I hope you're enjoying the gameplay segment. I'm just going to let it ride out here, and that'll be um, the end of my video. Hopefully, I won't have to edit, edit out any fucking footage or have to retake this because bullshit. I had the hardest time filming this video today. My apartment is hot as fuck, and I cannot turn on this goddamn cooler because it's too loud. <laughs> Uh, let me, uh, guys, let me know if you learned anything. Uh, I guess I'll just reiterate over some points, uh, that, or i try to quickly summarize what I think is the most salient point of the video. Basically, I love the shit out of Widowmaker. She's actually my favorite character in the game. I've logged more time with her than anyone else. Because she's the, one of the most satisfying characters to play in FPS, especially in regards to the snipers. Because... The skill gap is just so high, and the reward is so lovely when you just like hit someone in the face and strip so much health away from them, and, and on all other characters just fucking body their asses. It's fucking awesome. Uh, going over the um, easy takedowns real quick again, remember to kill Zenyatta. I don't know if I talked about Zenyatta often, but yeah, you can kill Zenyatta basically with one shot from anywhere, just like Tracer if she's being foolish. Like she's in this clip, sorry babe. You're also my favorite character in the game as well. I love you. I love you as well. I kind of have a, you know, mixed relationship between... Or an on and off relationship between Widowmaker and Tracer. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, but yeah, practice, 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 practice. Practice drag scoping. Practice in pubs. Work on your drag scope. Watch this one. Oh, it felt good. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, hope you like the character. Ultimately, I have to give her a 1 out of 5 for accessibility and usefulness because I feel like Hanzo is just that much more ridiculous. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section if you like to comment. You know, personally, I don't give a shit. You do whatever you want. There's a play of the game right there. Oh, love it. So, I, I know I said that's it a bunch of times, but... I just want to leave by saying I, I fucking, fucking love this character. <laughs> She's so fun. And you should fucking try her, you pussies. Bye.